Hello everybody and welcome to the video. This is Dolphin and today guys we're in a video about Summer's World. Today we're gonna have a look at the Carcano, uh, the Fire Sniper MK1. Uh, I'm gonna show you the runes. Obviously we're gonna have a look at the stats real quick and the skills and then I'm gonna show you the runes and uh, my siege defense. You probably know what my siege defense. We covered the part, the other two of the siege defense that I'm using. Carcano actually Liu Mei. So we're gonna have a look at Carcano as well. Pretty good defense, and uh, if you put some more effort, it's gonna do better than my one. But it's actually a pretty good defense, uh, guys. Before we get into the video, as always, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It's free and support the channel a whole lot, guys. So if you can, please hit sub button. It really, really helps. All right, let's have a look at Carcano. Let's take it out of the storage real quick, so we can actually have a look at it properly and. Um, Pretty good unit, he has a speed lead for Siege as well, so it's a really, really good unit. Uh, base stats are not the best, besides like base speed is actually pretty good, but uh, base attack is not that high, being attack type. Uh, base defense is pretty low and base HP is pretty low, I mean he's a damage dealer. And as you guys know, even with these uh, stats, is a threat in Siege. Uh, really good unit, uh, deletes a lot of other opponents. There's a good uh, counter with the wind, uh, windy, windy. The wind pumpkin is pretty good for him against him because the wind pumpkin cannot be defense broken. So he's gonna do damage, but he's not gonna do that much damage. So if you need um, a counter to Garcano, wind uh, pumpkin is actually really really good. Um, <clears throat> skills. So skill one is the only attack he has. Attack the enemy to inflict damage that ignores all damage reduction effect. So if the enemy has um, shield, if the enemy has a defense buff, all those damage reduction effect, they are gonna be ignored. So it's gonna do damage like they have nothing up. Um, if they have immunity, obviously, cannot defense break, but it's still gonna do the same amount of damage that it would do if they didn't have shield. Skill two, obviously, it goes in the pose, increases damage dealing to an enemy by 200% which is a lot, increase the chance of receiving a glancing hit by 70% if you attack while in the pose. Uh, the pose disable after the attack on your turn. These are two turn cooldowns, so it's really important you skill up skill two. Skill one, obviously more damage, but skill two is the most important one. So you go in the pose, you can glance, you can get glanced, so don't take that much damage, and then you can do 200% extra damage. Passive, they decrease the defense of the enemy with the worst HP stages for one turn at the start of each turn. It means um, that he has his own defense break and then he does 200 extra damage, 200% extra damage. So it's gonna do a lot of damage. He has 24 speed lead as well, which is insane. Uh, so really great unit for siege defense. I use him in offense sometimes. It's not probably the best one for offense, but it's pretty good. Uh, I went Valent, you should go Valent really, Valent Revenge is pretty good, Valent Blade if you can get enough crit rate, try to get around, well, as close as possible to 100 crit rate, because if he miss crits, it's gonna be bad, but I have mine like this, obviously I wouldn't want accuracy, honestly I think I could give him a better rune here, not the best rune for him for sure, but I do need crit rate there, like maybe this would be best. Uh, maybe this would be even better actually. So I lose some some of this, but I would like to keep some accuracy um, So I have this here Obviously try to focus on speed crit rate and attack and try to get some HP because the tankier the tankier you build Carcano the more annoying is gonna be especially because of his passive and if you use the pose I mean this could be better as well um, if you use the pose you get 70% chance of getting glanced on, which means if he's um, tankier, he can get glanced on, it might last longer in the field and do more damage. But yeah, focus on crit rate, it's really important you get some decent crit rate. And then I feel like crit damage lines on the artifacts are the better lines. Crit damage skill one, crit damage has more enemies max HP, has less enemies max HP, um, own turn crit damage are the better option. Uh, my one, our not the best so as you can see you can build a better Kakano than mine but my defense is doing okay so I haven't changed him also I don't have infinite Valiant runes so <laughs> I can't build everything super OP uh, but is used in this defense 
and he's not doing that bad to be honest with you not doing great but i feel like that kind of could be a lot better so focus on speed uh, attack hp and crit rate and then try to get him some accuracy because if he doesn't defense break it's just gonna it's just not gonna be that good if he defense break he's probably gonna one shot something if he doesn't defense break uh, it's gonna do a lot less damage see good damage but a lot less uh, but yeah guys that's gonna be it i think this is my defense you can use him with other stuff to be honest with you i've seen him mostly maybe a Yuno will work honestly but i've seen other defense with carcano i've seen a lot of carcano spam so you can uh, get creative but that's carcano uh not the best try to get more hp try to get more uh now probably just more hp i would like to have in mind uh as long as you have plus 1k attack that's all good if you can get 15k hp that would be really nice but yeah guys thank you for watching the video hope you enjoyed it i hope it helps and i'll see you in the next one bye bye buddy take care guys stay safe bye